Carol for here. How are you today? Well, today is Thursday, the 24th of September. Uh, happy spring, happy students' day, okay? Well, bye-bye unit 12 because today is the last uh, class of unit 12. Next class we are going to have the revision, yes, and uh, the book will be finished, yes? So, uh, you have to study for next class, unit 12, because we are going to have the revision. As homework, you are going to do activity book, pages 96, 97, 98, and 99, only the exercises, the exercises in brackets. You are going to write a website article, that is the exercise 7 on page 149 from the class book, the mass words, not only, not only but also, uh, but and even though. Yes, we're going to check pages 92, 93, 94 and 95 from the activity book. And then we're going to go to these topics. And you have the list with go. Go into battle, go well, go into, go up. Yes, you have all of them there. Yeah? You have uh, the pages 97. Yes, not only but also. And then you have word building on page 99. Yes, prefixes inappropriate, unexpected, impossible. Yes, so shall we go and check uh, the pages? Yes, all right, there we go, 92. If it is okay, put a tick. If it is wrong, put a cross. Last unit, last day of the last unit. Yes, okay, 92, 92. Wait a minute, please. There we are. Okay, exercise, well, attitude on. Okay, well, 1CH2FI3AD4EG5BJ. If GK rolling, rolling, Yes, Rowling hadn't written the Harry Potter stories, we would have been very uh, bored. Yes, okay. Millions of boys couldn't have got into books. She couldn't have become a millionaire. Yes, of course. If Tim Berners-Lee hadn't invent invented the internet, personal computers wouldn't have become so popular. Social networking wouldn't have been possible. If Alexander Fleming hadn't discovered penicillin, anti antibiotics wouldn't have been developed. A million of people would have died from infections. If Diane Fossey hadn't studied mountain gorillas, most of them would have, would have been killed. She wouldn't have been uh, murdered. Yes, okay. If Wangari Mathai hadn't won the Nobel Peace Prize, many people wouldn't have heard of her. Thousands of Kenyan women wouldn't have had an income. Yes. Okay. Number two. Millions of boys wouldn't have got into books if G.K. Rowling hadn't written the Harry Potter stories. G.K. Rowling wouldn't have become a millionaire if she hadn't written the Harry Potter stories. Two. Personal computers wouldn't have become so popular if Tim Berners-Lee hadn't invented the internet. Social networking wouldn't have been possible if Tim Berners-Lee hadn't invented the internet. Antibiotics wouldn't have been developed if Alexander Fleming hadn't discovered penicillin. Millions of people would have died of inf from infections if Alexander Fleming hadn't discovered penicillin. Four, most mountain gorillas would have been killed if Diane Fossey hadn't studied them. Diane Fossey wouldn't have been murdered if she hadn't studied mountain gorillas. Many people wouldn't have heard of Wangari Mathai if she hadn't won the Nobel Peace Prize. Thousands of Kenyan women wouldn't have had an income of if Wangari, Wangari Mathai Sorry for the pronunciation. Hadn't won the Nobel Peace Prize. Okay, good. So let's go to page 93, exercise 
3, ok? If GK Rowling hadn't become unemployed, she wouldn't have started writing. Yes. Tim Berners-Lee wouldn't have worked on hypertext if he hadn't wanted to share information with other researchers. If Alexander Fleming had cleaned his dishes, penicillin wouldn't have grown on them. Diane Fossey would have never, sorry, would never have gone to Africa if a friend had invited her on a safari. If Matai hadn't started the green belt movement, millions of trees wouldn't have been planted in Kenya. Um, well, that's all. 94. One B, two A, three D, four E, five C. Okay, exercise two. As masses of people relocated throughout throughout uh, Cambodia, 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 they often created communities and farmland that affected elephant habitat. At the same time, with rainforests <coughs> shrinking, hungry elephants came onto farmland destroying crops. Desperately, poor farmers fought back killing elephants to protect their land and life food. They were essential in the construction of the Angkor Wat temple are and are depicted in honor, honor of its wall. When the farmers were arrested <coughs> sorry, for cleaning their forest, they could no longer feed their families. The government had still not established school in these areas and farmers were very concerned and their children could not read or write. That is very sad. Yes, exercise three, four and five. 1AB, 2AC, 3BC, 4BC, AB, 4AB, 5C. Exercise 4. Camolis elephant could have died out completely. In theory, the conflict between people and animals shouldn't have happened. The Cambodi Cambodians couldn't have uh, built Angkor Wat without using elephant. Conservation efforts should have re-established respect for elephants. Conservation should have paid more attention to human needs. The government should have provided school. Exercise five, you should have studied Harvard. Two, someone could have broken in. Four, you should have, todas están en um, moral birds in the past, should have Last tercera columna. Could have gone, could have studied, should have bought a bigger one. Five, we couldn't have done it without her. Should, uh, six, you should have used your GPS. GPS. Yes? Okay. Good. So let's move to um, the class book. Yes? With the date... Uh, the day on pages, the date, on pages 148, 149, 46, 47, and oops, 152, okay? Well, how much do you know about samurai? And I have prepared a picture uh, about samurai. And it's very famous, maybe, uh, you play this game, maybe, okay, maybe, you know what a samurai is, okay, where uh, are, where are the samurai? Where are they from, where were they from, when did they live, what did they do, yes, okay, I will clean the board, yes, okay, we project in the background.
okay? Okay, so I want you to describe the picture there. Yes, okay. So, who uh, were the samurai? Do you know? Were they with soldiers? Yes. And they fight. Yes. With a sword. Yes, okay. And they, be, they were very strong. Okay. Um, well, you know, the sword was its, uh, its weapon. Yes, okay. And they used to have a horse too. Yes, all right. Is it clear? Yes. Have you ever played this game about samurai? Yes, okay. Yes or no? Okay, so describe the picture there. Yes, okay. And it says, uh, the word samurai, it says, one who serves. Yes, okay. They were soldiers, yes, of Japan a hundred years ago. Yes. Uh, sometimes, uh, well, they, they, they fight with a sword, yes, but also hand-to-hand -hand fighting, yes, okay. So, the sword was, uh, not, was not only, yes, okay, a weapon, you know, this is the sword, was not only a weapon, but also, yes, but also, Yes, it was also, yes, uh, an art object. Yes, okay. It was a luxury. Yes, so this word, this sword they use, yes, they fight with, was not only, yes, uh, a weapon, but it was uh, also a luxury and it was also art them, an art object. Yes, okay. Um... Samurais used to socialize, yes, socialize with artists, writers, philosophers, and they used to drink tea, yes, they used to drink tea, yes, it was a tea ceremony, yes, okay, so it was slow and calm, it was a tradition, it was, a tea was served in a small room, yes, where, you know, this weapon, well, the sword, yes, was forbidden. Is it clear? Yes, you will read all this information and you will highlight it in the uh, text on page 147. You can follow it, yes. Bushido was the code, yes, the soldier's code, yes, okay. Um... The martial arts tradition continues in Japan to this day. Yes, okay. They continue doing it. Yes. Bushido is also a code of ethic. Yes. Honor. Yes. Loyalty. Sacrifice. Yes, okay. So, it says, the teacher said, yes, our message here is that if you try hard, at Kendo or anything else, you will enjoy life. Yes? The samurai is the cowboy, the knight, the gladiator. Yes? And if you see, yes, okay, in the Star Wars film, yes, you can see it is inspired, yes, by a samurai. Yes? You know, they have a sword, yes, from different colors. Yes? Okay? Uh, you know, in Japan, each spring, Men put on samurai, the armor of a samurai, well, and they practice everything and they re remember everything, yes, the culture, because it is their culture, yes, okay, and it has inspired, yes, many uh, of, many games, yes, you know, many games, many films, yes, are inspired with this. Well, and then you have, um, then you have, uh, yes, so 
Then you have all the um, verbs with go. So if you see, uh, have you seen this um, uh, on Netflix? This, this is the, the continuation, yes, okay, of the Karate Kid. It was a famous, famous uh, film from the 80s, yes, okay. So now if you look at the picture, they are going to go into battle. Yes, what's the meaning of go into battle? So, go into battle. They are about to go into battle. Fight. Yes, so you will have all the meanings there. Yes, all the meanings there. Yes, in the list, in the photo pizarra. Yes, okay. Do you think something will, will go wrong after this fight? Yes, at the end of the, uh, the season? Oh my God, yes, I think you will like it, yes, okay. Um, maybe, yes, uh, he will continue with the Cobra Kai. He will go on with the Cobra Kai. I don't know, yes, okay. Well, so after what happens to him, I think he, have to, he has to go on with his life. He has to go on with his life. Continue. I'm not going to uh, give you any, any more spoilers. Yes? Okay? Good. But I wanted to give you some examples with the go. Um, yes, you know, this, this was the film. Yes? Uh, from the 80s. Yes? The two of them. Yes? They were about to go into battle. But the thing is, they, they go into battle. Yes? In the Cobra Kai um, series on the Netflix, uh, on Netflix, yes, okay. So I think something will go wrong, yes, at the end of um, the season, yes. I won't give you any more spoilers, yes. Uh, see it, yes, okay. Well, um, that's all, yes, okay. You have the list there. So we are going to go to the book. Yes, I really recommend you because you will like it. Yes, okay. Well, um, shall we go to the pages very quickly? Yes, okay. Good, good, good. So you're going to um, go to exercise. Well, we have already talked about one. What was, uh, what, who were the samurai and everything. And you're going to go to um, exercise two, you're going to highlight the words, duty, fighting, enemies, martial arts, uh, sword, weapon, yes, okay? And then you're going to read the article, yes, check the answers in exercise one and two. And you're going to do the true or false, yes, okay, exercise four, then five, yes, highlight the words. And then you will have all the words with go. Here, yes, so you must highlight the words in exercise two, do exercise four, five, seven, eight, yes, okay. So, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, all right, good. Well, exercise um, three, they were elite warrior class. Number two, Japan, from the 10th century to the 19th century, 1860s. The original samurai went into battle riding horses and fought their opponents following ancient tradition, traditions. Later, they trained for hand-to-hand -hand fighting, socialized with artists, philosophers, writers, who went to theater and did flower arranging at the tea ceremony. That would be a very nice experience, yes, to see. One true, two false, three true, four false, five true. Number um, seven. One A. Going to battle, fight. Two C. Go well. Yes, didn't go well. Weren't good. Yes, okay. Because it is a negative. Yes, okay. Number three, A, C. 
3C went into, went into decline. Yes, C. Yes, weakened. Weakened. Yes, okay. Number four, B, return to the past. If you have the possibility, I will correct eight first, okay? Number one, progress in a, bad, in a bad way when a problem happens and causes failure of something. Two, continue stopping without stopping for a period. Yes, okay, go on. Is rising, yes, go up. And become silent, yes, okay, have a good, uh, have a go at. I'm going to have a go at flower arranging. Perdón, 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 I will continue. Four, yes, go quiet, become silent, yes. Number five, yes, okay, go ahead, continue, carry on, yes. Don't look back, go ahead with your life. I'm going to have a go at, yes, make an attempt, try. I'm going to have a go at tennis. I will try, yes, is it clear? Right, yes, okay. Uh, I think something will go wrong at the end of the season, yes. Go on with your life, yes. Don't look back, okay. Um, well, and you have the other examples there, okay, um, X3, yes, um, you know, the numbers of uh, deaf people because of the coronavirus is going up, yes, is increasing, yes, okay, is it clear? Number four, go quiet, yes, okay. The students went quiet immediately when the teacher got into the classroom. Is it clear? Right. Well, uh, go ahead. Yes. Uh, go ahead. Yes. Don't look back. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I, I, got, I have already given an example with um, have a, a go at. Yes. Is it clear? So, I was thinking about nine. That's why I... I I lose the, I lost the concentration. So, could you like to go back in time? This is very interesting. Okay, uh, an experienced life in different uh, in a different age or country, or could you prefer to live in the future? Yes. Okay. This uh, there is a song. Go back in time. And it's from the Come to the Future film. Yes, okay. And, uh, well, you know, he goes, he goes to the future and he sees uh, the children. He has to save them. Yes, because something will happen if they, well, you know, if they see each other. Yes, there is a famous dog that is a bit crazy. Uh, Marty McFly and the dog, yes, Emmett Brown, are friends forever but this is a very nice film maybe your parents have seen it saw it in the past yes and it's about this yes but if you have the possibility to go back in time uh, when and where will you go why that time that time appears uh, to you your role or position in that society if you could be the president of the country if you could be Ah, uh, a scientist, a famous scientist, yes, opportunities, possible dangers. So this could be the three minutes video. Yes, okay, from uh, the next class, yes, and we're going to talk about it. Yes, okay. Um, yeah, I'm making notes, yes, okay. Well, um, can we go? Yes, good. So, uh, let's go to page 100 and, 100 and, I would like to go, I would like to go back in time. Uh, I would go to the future because I want to see what happens. Probably I could be a teacher. Yes, that would be the part of society, my positions in society, 
and I would experience how uh, could it be to teach. Uh, I could be from the past, but I would teach. Yes, it could be very difficult, yes, to be secretly there because I would have to manage to teach in the future. Yes, so I'm very curious about that. Um, possible dangers, well, of course, if somebody discovers me, yes, okay, uh, I don't know, there would be a kind of law, they would uh, maybe, uh, they would put me uh, into prison, yes, um, maybe they will kill me, because I don't know, there would be some kind of, uh, um, I don't know, um, law, yes, that anybody from the past can come to the future, uh, yes, so uh, there will be many dangers, so that's why I told you, I would have to manage, yes, um, to stay there in that period, yes, where, because, why, because I'm very curious about the future, I want to know, um, and I would be a teacher, yes, I would like to be in contact with students, yes, okay, well, good, I want to know about you, what about you, okay, well, so I'm so sorry, yes, so do people apologize a lot in your country, no, no, and no, yes, sometimes they don't apologize at all, so um, every day I feel that uh, there are less people with good manners, yes, and that's a pity, uh, would you apologize in these situations? Yes, arrive late for a meeting. Yes, forgetting someone's name. Serving food at a guest doesn't. Uh, serving food a guest doesn't like. Not um, not liking the food someone cooks for you. Taking someone's chair in a cafe. Asking someone to repeat something you didn't hear. Breaking something that belongs to someone else. Hanging in some work after the deadline has passed at college, losing something that belongs to someone else. Well, I feel that nowadays, yes, okay, um, this code of apologizing uh, is uh, being lost, yes, okay. So we're going to listen to three conversations in which people make apologies. So you have to look at the expressions for making and accepting apologies, highlight the chart, what do you think the three conversations are about? Yes, we're going to do exercises three and four, highlight the chart, and then in exercise five, do you think all these expressions, uh, all of the expressions for making and accepting apologies could be appreciated in each of the three relationships? Why, why not? Um, I was about to say something. Yes, in England, yes, they apologize for everything. Yes, okay. <laughs> for everything, yes. Sorry, I didn't see you. Sorry, sorry all the time. Yes, okay. So they continue having this code, yes, of apologizing. One. Is everything okay with your food? Yes, yes, it's lovely, but... Um... I should have told you that I don't eat meat. Oh, oh dear. I'm really sorry you've gone to all this trouble. There's no need to apologise. It's not a problem. No, I should have said something earlier. It's okay. I should have asked you if there was anything you couldn't eat. It's my fault. I'll make you something else. No, please don't. The vegetables are delicious and there's plenty to eat. Are you sure? Yes, really. I'm enjoying this. I'll just leave the meat if that's okay with you. Okay. Two. Oh my goodness, what was that? I dropped the tray of glasses. Oh, those nice glasses from Italy. I couldn't help it. I slipped. Are you okay? Let me help you up. You are clumsy, though. Don't blame me. This floor is slippery. Yes, but if you'd been more careful... Look, it was an accident. It could have happened to anyone. I know, I know. It's not your fault. Sorry I got upset. It is a shame about those glasses, though. We've only just got them. Three. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. 
The bus didn't come. Were you waiting for the number 46? Yes. It was supposed to come at half past five. Don't worry about it. That service is terrible. It's always late. I tried to phone you, but I couldn't get through. Ah, I think my phone is switched off. Sorry about that. Goodness, I'm almost an hour late. It's okay. It's just one of those things. Buses are unreliable. Anyway, you're here now, and that's the main thing. Okay. Well, so, um, let's go, let's go, let's go. Conversation one, not liking the food someone cooks for you. One person doesn't eat meats. Conversation two, breaking something that belongs to someone else. One person slips and breaks nice glasses from Italy. Oh my God. Conversation three, arriving late for a meeting. The bus was late. Uh, you know, British, yes, of course, they would probably apologize in all these situations. Yes, okay. Uh, exercise four. Conversation one, the host has served the guest, served the guest meat and the guest is vegetarian. So conversation two, one of the couple has dropped some uh, glasses. Conversation three, one person has arrived late because of the bus, because the bus was late. Two, conversation one, the guest leaves the meat and eats the vegetables. Conversation two, it isn't resolved. Conversation three, it's just one of those things. So in exercise uh, five, it says, in general, the phrases could be used in all three situations. However, in the first conversation, there is an element of formality and politeness. A dinner uh, party host and a host, a dinner party host and a guest. Yes, which means that they have, they are unlikely to use phrases that involve refusing to accept. Yes, blame. I couldn't help it. Don't blame me or informal phrases, sorry about that, it's just one of those things. Similarly, very polite phrases, I'm really sorry you've gone to all, to all this trouble, would probably not be used in conversations two and three. Yes, so I want you to listen to um, uh, the listening 103, yes, exercise 6A, yes, okay, listen. Track 103, Unit 12D, 1. I'm really sorry you've gone to all this trouble. 2. The copy of intonation, I'm interested in that. There's no need to apologise, it's not a problem. 3. It's my fault, I'll make you something else. 4. I couldn't help it. These are the words that are, um, you know, stressed. It's my fault. I couldn't help it. Don't blame me. Yes, okay. Stressed. I slipped. Five. Don't blame me. This floor is slippery. Six. Look, it was an accident. It could have happened to anyone. Seven. It's not your fault. Sorry I got upset. Eight. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Nine. Don't worry about it. That service is terrible. Ten. Sorry about that. Eleven. It's just one of those things. Buses are unreliable. Okay, so uh, rewind it, play it again, and try to copy the stress, the intonation, yes? Uh, not copy the stress, the intonation, yes? Okay, well, so we go to page 149, and you have a website article. Have you ever spent time in an English-speaking country? So it says, how to behave with a homestay family, yes? Okay, so um, you are going to read the article. From a website, yes, which arranged host families for foreign language students in the United Kingdom. What advice do you expect to find there? What do you think of the advice? Does any of it surprise you? And you're going to know, you're going to have all of them. 
Yes, and this is the one that you're going to do. It says exercise six. You're going to write an article for students coming to your country. First of all, you have to brainstorm your ideas, celebration, dress, other food, formality, greetings, house rules, meal times, money. Yes, between 150 and 200 words. Yes, similar to this, okay? But they will come to your country. Yes, okay, so the homestay family could be in Argentina. Yes, okay, think about all these ideas. Brainstorm the ideas, okay? What celebrations they will have to go? What kind of gloves do they have to bring? What about the food? Yes, uh, greetings, yes, okay. Um, house rules, yes, what time they have to eat, have dinner, lunch, uh, you know, breakfast, dinner, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, tea time, the money, yes, school, all right? Yes, and you have to use uh, not only, but also, she's not only uh, my student, but also my daughter. She's not only, yes, my friend, yes, but also um, my mother-in-law, yes, okay? Is it clear? Even though, and uh, but, yes, include these words there, okay? So, um, let's go there, read it. Now is the time that you saw the video, read the, the article, yes, okay? It could be an article, a website article, yes, okay? So it must have all the, 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 the page there. It says www.homestayfamily.com, yes, okay? So that would be the structure, yes, okay? How do you have to organize it, is it clear? Good, the presentation, I mean. Well, uh, advice, let's go there. That is given in the article, take a small gift for your host. Yes, show an interest in British and Irish culture. culture. Take some photos from home. You can talk about the photos to your host, about your family and the place where you live. Don't behave like a tourist. Normal life, yes, normal life what you are there to experience. Be punctual, polite, and sociable. Yes, okay? Is it clear? Good. Um, 5A. So what you have to think, in general, yes, uh, the text is well written. The writer of the website article has already checked all the things. You know, you have to check a grammar, linking words, but or go, however, not only, but also the style, Yes, because this is a website article, so the style, uh, vocabulary, um, if your ideas are relevant, yes, don't put irrelevant ideas, the spelling, grammar, punctuation, uh, re linking words, yes, the grammar, yes, okay, so I want you to check everything before handing in. In exercise C, these things, they, in their home, their. A gift from a guest, the same. Your say, eat. British and Irish, there. The photos, them. Taking the photos, this. A tourist, one. Normal life, normal life, that. Yes, okay. So, um, let's go to the revision now. Yes, okay. I want you to do the revision and you're going to be free. Yes, okay. You are going to do exercise one, yes, from page 152, exercise two, three, four, yes, five, your own sentences must be in the cuaderno of uh, compositions. This is for your practice with a uh, comfortable, uh, informal, yes, unlikely, impatient, yes, okay, um, and exercise seven, okay, so now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay, have been, two, wouldn't have got, could have frozen, would not have been able, five, would have turned out, six, hadn't gone, okay, so pay attention with the tenses there. Exercise one. Exercise two, one true, two false, three true, 
four true. Yes, okay, exercise uh, three. If his father, ojo, pasado perfecto, if más pasado perfecto, must, would have, tercera columna, o sea, el pasado participio, ojo, eh. If his father hadn't given him a camera, si no está seguro, repasate las terceras columnas, yes, the list of verbs, the third column, past participle, he might not have become a photographer. Two, if the snow leopard, leopard had been impossible to find, he couldn't have taken this photo. If he hadn't moved higher up to the, mo the mountain, he wouldn't have been able to get any shots. Inappropriate. Uncomfortable. Inexperienced. Informal. Unlikely. Impatient. Impolite. Impossible. Unexpected. Your sentences. Yes, okay. Exercise seven. Don't worry about it. Well, don't blame me. It's my fault and it's not your fault. Okay, is it clear? So that's all. Write examples with inexperience. Do you think uh, the teacher of music, the new one, is inexperienced? Experienced? Yes, okay. Um, it's unlikely that he comes tomorrow. Yes. Uh, what have? What do you have? Impatient. When I say teacher who sometimes is impatient, yes? She wants to continue. She wants to continue, yes? Okay, and see what happens. Yes? Right. Um, I think that bed you are sleeping on is very uncomfortable, yes? So that was the end of exercise of unit 12. Yes, the end of the field. Congratulations. Study for next class because it will be the last revision. Yes, well, uh, enjoy the weekend. Write the website uh, article between 150 and uh, 100 and 200 words. Okay, bye bye for here. See you next class. Happy weekend.